What do you do when you have a player that's absolutely raking in the minor leagues? Well, usually you promote them. Low A to high A, high A to double A, and potentially to triple A. And what happens when this player keeps raking even at the higher minor league levels? Well, you get a call to the big leagues. But what happens when this player has already shown that he struggles at the major league level? Struggles as in strikes out four out every time that he comes to the plate. Struggles as in everybody in the ballpark knows where the pitch is going to be thrown and yet the batter still can't catch up. What happens with this player? Too good for the competition in the minors, but easily exploited by major league pitching? Well, unfortunately, it appears that one of the Brewers' most hyped prospects, Kesson Hira, has found himself caught between the two leagues as a quadruple-A player trapped in baseball purgatory. Welcome back to another Brew City Baseball production. If you're new here, take a second to subscribe and you'll get a new video every week. If you've been here before and you're already subscribed, you're the best. I appreciate you. You're the best. First of all, I want to preface this whole discussion by saying I don't think it's too late for Kesson Hira to turn this whole narrative around. I think everybody in the Brewers organization wants this guy to succeed. He'll likely get another chance at some point, at which point I'll definitely be rooting for him. But the elephant in the room. First. We need to acknowledge the elephant in the room. Keston hasn't lived up to the lofty, impossibly unfair expectations that were placed on him before he even played in an MLB game. You might actually be surprised to hear that Keston is even in the Brewers organization anymore. After being informed that he wasn't going to make the opening day roster and that he was on the trade block, Hero was designated for assignment by the Brewers ahead of the 2023 season. Just a few years ago, the idea of Hero being DFA'd would have been shocking to say the least. The idea of him clearing waivers? Unthinkable. Unthinkable has happened. But here we are in 2023, and that's exactly what happened. The Brewers chose to take their shot on Luke Voigt to start the season after a solid spring showing that he had at first base. With some freshmen crowding the locker room and roster spots at a premium, Kira, who was out of options, was the odd man out and was designated for assignment by the team. The hefty $2.2 million price tag attached to Hira detracted any potential suitors away from scooping him up off of waivers, at which point the Brewers retained him and assigned him to AAA Nashville. So how do we get to this point, where five years later, the former top prospect who had an incredible rookie showing is being sent back down to the minor leagues? The offensive-minded, defensively challenged second baseman was a standout at UC Irvine. This is where he caught the attention of the Milwaukee Brewers, who drafted him in the first round of the 2017 MLB Draft. Kira quickly made his way through the Brewers' minor league system, posting impressive stat lines along with numerous accolades, such as the 2018 MVP award that he won in the Arizona Fall League. Keston then carried this momentum into the 2019 season. He started the year slashing 333, 408, 698 in his first 37 games at the AAA level. Come May 19th, this production would earn Keston a call up to the major league level. The Brewers were looking for some pop at the plate as their offense was struggling to start the season. Outfielder Ryan Braun was battling a hamstring injury and missed three consecutive starts. Meanwhile, Jesus Aguilar was failing to produce and the Lorenzo Kane that almost led the league with the 308 average the year before owned a 246 clip so far this year. Keston found early success at the big league level too. Although he would be sent back down to the minors to make room for a Travis Shaw return from the injured list, Kira would put on a Brewers uniform again in the summer months to put up an altogether impressive rookie campaign. He finished the year with a 303 batting average, 19 home runs, and 49 RBIs in just 84 games. Despite his impressive power, he really struggled with strikeouts and defense, which would prove to be a common theme for years to come with Hira. I remember seeing Hira smash this ball into the right field corner in Arizona and being in awe of his power to center and opposite field. His quick hands and ability to slap the ball to all fields had him primed for a bright future. Two, and there's a shot into right field. Hayward going back, it's gone! Justin Hira walks it up! While the concern with Hero was always his defense, 
Even at the peak of three true outcome baseball in 2019, Hero was still incredibly susceptible to striking out compared to the rest of the league. Swing and miss really became the Achilles heel of his career, as he would go on to set the pace for the entire league in the pandemic shortened season with 85 strikeouts. Once opposing pitchers caught onto the code, they continued to exploit the glaring hole in Kesson Hira's game, fastballs up in the zone. Hira never was able to make an adjustment to big league pitching and catch up to these high heaters. Many were skeptical of his toe-tap leg kick. After struggling and ultimately ditching this unique approach, Hira still can't handle that pitch. His stat cast zone charts make the pitcher's scouting report very apparent. Clearly, Hira is swinging and missing and striking out at pitches up in the zone at an absurd rate. The game of baseball is very much about making adjustments. Major League pitchers adjusted to the long ball threat that Hira presented by pitching him up in the zone, and Keston just simply hasn't been able to respond up to this point. If you couldn't tell, Unfortunately, Hira's Major League success has been short-lived to this point. After the shortened 2020 season, concerns about his future emerged, and many wondered if he would ever be able to get back to the rookie form that he showed in 2019. But Hira struggled even worse in 2021, and he was eventually demoted to the minor leagues to work on his swing and regain confidence. He would only hit a buck 68 with four homers in 61 games in 21 for an OPS plus of 51. That's not good. It was obviously a difficult time for the young player, who was also dealing with the unfortunate life event of his mother battling cancer, which she is in remission now, so that's good news. But either way, not easy to be dealing with such a huge life stressor while also managing the pressure of trying to regain success at one of the most difficult things to do in sports in hitting a baseball. In the minor leagues, Hero worked closely with his hitting coaches to make adjustments to his swing mechanics. He experimented with different stances and grip positions, and he also worked on his approach at the plate. But it was too little too late for the 2021 season. Hero was called back up to the major league level right at the end of the year, but this was really just the opportunity to rest some starters ahead of a playoff push that was about to begin. 2022 was a fresh start for Hira, where he finally flipped his OPS Plus back over 100, hitting the 114 mark for the season. Not too shabby. On the surface level, Hira appeared to bounce back to form, hitting 14 homers in 80 games, which isn't too far off the 19 dingers and 84 games mark that he set as a rookie. Yet, underlying this moderate success was the fact that Hira still struck out 111 times that season. That's over 40% of the time. Combine this inability to put the ball in play with a defensive liability in the outfield, and you get a player that's really difficult to keep in the lineup. Collectively, in his time in the majors, here is only averaging a .9 war for a 162 game season, keeping the incentive to play him pretty low as that's really only the war that a substitute player would have. Entering his fifth season with the team, a roster spot was far from guaranteed and he was gonna need to prove himself in spring training. As I mentioned earlier, roster spots are at a premium coming into the 2023 season, with rookies like Bryce Terang and Joey Weimer, along with other competitors like Owen Miller, Mike Brasso, and Luke Voigt, all providing competition for Hira to make the club. Even with his roster spot at stake, Hira still had an incredibly disappointing spring showing. He went just 5 for 32 at the plate. That's a measly 156 batting average to go along with no home runs, two doubles, and most concerningly, 15 strikeouts in only 12 Cactus League games. This was seemingly the nail in the coffin for Hira, as the Brewers openly communicated with him that he wasn't going to make the opening day roster ahead of the season and that they were actively trying to trade him. Hira isn't going down without a fight, however. He is once again proving to everybody that, one thing is for sure, he's better than minor league competition. Keston has started 2023 by winning his third Player of the Week award. In 23 games so far, he put up an impressive 325 batting average with a 1070 OPS, nine long balls, and most importantly, his strikeout rate is below his career average at 26.6%. Much more manageable, but again, against minor league competition. This could be a step in the right direction though. Maybe the designation for assignment was the wake up call that he needed for something to really click and an adjustment to finally work. I don't know if I'm really holding my breath, but it is promising to see. Who knows how long it'll actually be before Kesson gets another chance in the majors though. It's likely gonna require an injury or two to really open up space on the roster or maybe an extended struggle by the current backup first baseman, Luke Voigt, before the team actually considers recalling him. Keston Hira's journey is a reminder of the ups and downs that come with being a young baseball player and just how difficult it is to maintain success in Major League Baseball. He started strong, struggled, and then fought his way back into the league. More struggles have it unclear if Keston will wear a Brewers jersey on a Major League diamond again, or if he'll get a chance elsewhere. It's clear that he has talent and is determined to succeed. But if he has what it takes to be a Major League player, that's still to be seen. 
He will continue to face the challenge of adjusting to the most talented pitchers in the world. Here a story is a reminder that success in baseball isn't always a straight line and its challenges can be extremely difficult to overcome which makes the things that Mike Trout and other MVPs do even more incredible. If you haven't yet, please take a second to smash that like and subscribe button. It really goes a long way in helping me grow the channel. Plus, if you're subscribed, you'll get a new video every week. I'd also love to hear from you down in the comments below. Do you think that Hira is going to get another chance in the majors? Do you think that he seizes the opportunity if he actually gets one? Personally, I've kind of given up hope. I mean, just look at how poorly this has aged. I don't think that at this point I would still be voting for Hira for president. But let me know what you think down below. I want to hear your thoughts too. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time, baseball fans.